They rolled out Biden again. He wasn't dead till you rolled over on him. <laughs> Apparently, he's never hungry these days. Maybe he's hungry. Because at this point, like my trusty teddy bear, they had him permanently stuffed. He won't hurt you, dear. He's stuffed. And Biden's press secretary informed us that for Biden, home is where the heart is. Home is where the heart is. Exactly. And where it should stay. In a jar. On the mantle. By the fireplace. Apparently they decided to preserve that particular organ for posterity's sake. What did this do to you? Tell me. And remember, this is for posterity, so be honest. Or possibly so they can comment on how much his heart feels stuff. I feel you. You know, when you take it out of the jar and like, rub it on things? You may have observed lately that Biden sure is good at keeping a stiff upper lip. Gilligan, keep a stiff upper lip. <laughs> Apparently that's because they stuffed it with part of a duck beak. Also, note how well he can keep his chin up. Ow, my head! Ow, my feet! Ow, my head! Ow, my feet! Your chin up! Ow, my chin! Honestly, with the steel bracers they installed, you couldn't knock that chin down with a sledgehammer. These days, it's also much easier to keep Biden's hands clean. I flush away annoying problems so others can keep their hands clean. And just like a toilet, I am essential. As they're no longer always grabbing the closest secretary's hair, in order to smell it. He's actually finally become the perfect gentleman. Oh, don't be silly. Zep's a perfect gentleman. That he's always pretended to be.